What's up guys, welcome back to Fewer Castles. Today we're going to start off with Assassin GR. Um, castle level 16, I'll jump into it on my knight. Hopefully his castle's updated for patch 17. Alright, so the charging Cyclops, um, plus the... Scorpio on this like skill ability thing it feels like it's a little bit counterintuitive right because you have the the possibility here of that Cyclops charging me and then making it so I dodge from the the boulder like I guess you're trying to make it so no one can get up on this on the Scorpio for as long as possible which I guess it's an okay time waster room it's not really it's actually pretty terrible at dealing damage itself but I mean I guess it's okay but um, so here you have this Pete Poundmore with zero support. I think first of all he needs support. Second of all, this Pete Poundmore is skippable. Same thing here. You need support for the Zeke. You don't want to just have these, you know, 16 point, 12 point unit. You want to use full groups if you can. Which I mean, the uh, the game pretty much makes it so you can use all full groups and a full boss room and like be right around the. The, um, the point maximum. I think you'd be like one point over because it's a 36 point boss room. So here you have a support. But again, up, up on the top side you have a skippable mob group. Skippable mob groups are the single most, like, single worst thing that you can do in a castle. Because it just, there's two groups now that I've been able to skip and that's a good majority of your defense rating at your level. That is just not going to be helping you at all. So obviously that's not good. You know, if you have 175 defense points or whatever and you have 40 of it not in a fight, that's a pretty big deal. It makes your castle a lot easier. For even, even like if someone fights everything the first time and doesn't make it, they can say, oh look, I was able to skip a 6 point mob group right there. And not even have to fight it. And that's where they could save time or make it easier to not use potions or anything like that. So that's the first thing you definitely need to change. Other than that, I mean, these guys, I don't really like them, specifically. I don't think they're all that effective. Especially, like, I play an archer, so obviously the teleport doesn't make any sense for me. They teleport around me and I just keep shooting them. And then you have a dirt. which I can kill without letting him attack me once. But that's only because I'm a little overleveled. I might still be able to do it, I don't know. I don't play knights enough, but knights can chain stun things pretty easily. Um, so yeah, you'll definitely have to fix the mob groups that aren't being used in your castle. You need to make sure everything their aggro circle is touching like every point through a room. You want to make it so they can't just hug the wall to get around it. So we'll jump into number two in just a second. Alright, next up we have Belgar the Avenger. Cast level 24, same level as my archer. Let's see how good his castle does against me. Scorpio, Dampener. The Dampener's in front of your Scorpio. I think that's kind of a mistake, because I can just headshot it down before the fight even happens. And then I have to dodge this. I think maybe you could place your Ballista Trap a bit better too. It's covering like the one side of this corner, but I can still have like a free place to wait. Right, like I can wait up in this corner for whatever's coming around, see that everything, see whatever's coming. And then the only thing you're really guarding is this corner here. You're not guarding the back of this room either. So I would like it better if you had like one more in, in the center of this room and then one back at the entrance. But I don't know how that'll screw up your other trap placements. Yeah. 
All right. I definitely need a bow that has longer range. I have to use headshots to engage things from distances. Which I think headshots just go pretty far. I don't know exactly how far they go. I'm still getting used to having all of this range available to me. Alright, so so far this looks very similar to what I used to have set up. Other than that, also the only thing I didn't n mention is the Mega Mutton back in that second room back there. He was a little bit too far out in the open. Being able to lead with a headshot against the Mega Mutton and then follow up with a volley like that so easily um, makes it so I can pretty much one-shot the Mega Mutton. Other people won't be able to do that, they'll take it to like one-third. But he'll never sustain heals like that. He'll get in front of the healer and then pretty much just die before it happens. So let's see if I can get a headshot on this Jimbo as he's coming around. You should be able to also uh, guard against this as well, because this Snotter is too far back. Like, I was able to headshot the Jimbo and kill him pretty easily. The idea is to keep keep people's like cooldowns from resetting until like the latest possible, right? So if I'm able to initiate with a skill that I want to use twice in a, a battle, it makes the battle that much quicker for me, right? Like, I'm able... well, this guy's guarded, so I can't really do it on this one. Um, I will probably initiate with, like, that, which will enrage the Scorpio, which makes all my timings off. So I kind of have to react to it instead of actually using the timings I have in my head. There we go. That was a good group, though. I liked that one a lot better. The placement of it made it so I couldn't do really anything other than um, kill off the bad dog from the back side there with volley. Alright, this one, Robo Shieldatron, right? Yeah. I think this is fine. I'm not sure what's coming to support it, but it's getting here too late, though. So you want to speed up that Bone Puppeteer and slow down the Robo Shieldatron so that they all arrive kind of at the same time, relatively. This one, I'm not sure if this castle was not set up uh, after patch 17, but obviously these guys can be seen now and just volleyed from a distance. Which isn't ideal. Yeah, this is kind of an old setup. This looks very similar to what I used to have set up. Yours was a bit better than mine, because mine I had it angled in a certain way so that uh, I could pull it through with a with a hunger bot. But you, if, you held, if you hugged this wall, you could actually get around it. And I kind of discovered that, but I didn't really want to change it because it reduced the damage that I was doing significantly. And not many people were hugging the wall, like only one person. Alright, so again, this is kind of the same setup I used to have. It's a lot easier to predict. First of all, now that I know that it happens, and secondly, um, uh, that you can see everything before it happens, obviously, right? Like, I can see before I engage into this trap, like, look at how far that is. Like, before, when it was rotated the other way, like, regardless of, um, of the bar, regardless of the, what do you call it, the UI bar, the skill bar, um, you can't see very far at all down at the bottom of your screen. Like, people were complaining about the skill bar itself, and I kept saying over and over that the camera rotation was... the skill bar wasn't the big, big deal. Like, yes, it helped to lead a hook through the skill bar, but just being on the bottom of the screen, there's so much less view than on the top. Like, you'll see how ridiculously far I can see with this once these walls go down. So... These sorts of traps just won't work anymore, unless Fog of War comes and it makes it so that even, like, these types of traps won't work after Fog of War happens if it's only corners that reduce your line of sight. I stood around talking too much, so I'll end up getting timed out here, but that's okay. So yeah, I mean, this is almost room for room what I used to have set up. 
So obviously it was good back then, but a lot of things need to change for... Well, not a lot of things need to change. Generally, just the everything that has a Stairmaster inside of it. Like, literally everything. And this would have to change as well. So yeah, obviously it's it's a decent castle overall. I mean, it's a lot of the same things that I use. The only problems is a few things need to be tweaked. Um, I did a video on, on tweaking it a little bit, on how I tweaked my castle, and you can kind of follow that. And if you follow it mostly to like what I do, um, you should be doing okay. My castle isn't killing nearly as many people, obviously, because it doesn't have the kill zones in it anymore. A couple people do run out of potions, but mostly it's... Like a mix between time waste, I guess, and uh, and damage dealing. Like if you go too fast, you'll use your potions if you, and, and die. If you go too slow, you'll timer out. And I have a pretty good balance right now because I think the timer's in a pretty bad spot at this point. I, I lost about a minute and twenty seconds on my timer, or maybe less. I don't know. From patch seven sixteen to seventeen. So I mean, people aren't really going to be able to get through my castle. The only people who've gotten through my castles are level thirties. 28s and 29s haven't even made it through in the right amount of time. Uh, so we will jump into number 3 in just a second. Alright, and finally we have Trunky, castle level 13. We'll run through it really quickly, see what he's got set up. I'd like to see... Okay, so he's on heal. Um, I think this is fine. I'm not sure what specialization your Cyclops is on, but I think he should be on Over the Head Slam for this group specifically. Uh, obviously, if you have something set up later on in your castle that makes use of charge, then that would be what you should do. I like how your castle switches this way. It makes me want to rotate. That's good. This will never get anybody to actually step on that. Unless... See, this is where some, where I would almost want like a Cyclops with Charge or this guy to be on a bash back. So it gives you that chance of bashing me back, throwing me forward. I mean, it's not going to do much damage or do anything, but it's kind of neat. And it would like let your Pete Palmer do a bit more damage. I think for sure this guy should actually be on a bash. Because the worst thing that happens is I just fly into this wall. And it still sets me up to have the Pete Palmer bash on me. The uh, the hunger bot is what the one that I was talking about, by the way. All right, so you have these guys on charge. I think three charging cyclopses isn't all that effective. I've heard people complaining about the complaining about it on the forums. Maybe it's a problem at lower levels, but I've never had a problem with it at this high of a level. These traps just being on the floor are, are really not going to work for you, though. The only time that they'll work for you is when people don't know what they're doing. So maybe in these lower levels, if you just recently got this trap, I remember I used to do this at really low levels. I uh, I had these random traps on the floor, and randomly some people would just go and step on them. And it's like, oh, that's kind of funny, but um, they don't do any damage currently. So unless you're setting yourself up to kill the hero with these, they're really not useful. Um, this guy I think is skippable, so you want to fix that. Either make it so that he's hooked into like this wall with like a snotter here and then like a snotter out in front so I can't get by it without aggroing it, or hook it through this wall over into this side or something like that, or just move him up so he can't be skipped. Alright, and then, what's this one, Zeke? Alright, so when you're using any sort of archer or, you know, anything that's in range that has to hit the hero, um, you want to take out all of your mines, because, uh, and put them in different areas of your castle, because uh, I can just kind of wa walk around these mines to make sure that the Zeke doesn't hit me, make sure the Cyclopses don't hit me, and then just kind of backtrack and kill the Zeke, that's what I did there. Now, why is the castle door still closed? Okay, there's a random snotter. 
All right. So yeah, I mean, just the one guy that w that was skippable, and a couple things that I said earlier, and your castle will be doing a bit better. Um, yeah, that's number three. So we'll end the video. If you guys enjoyed, I do please subscribe. If you want to be a part of ViewerCast, you can email me at Frenzy Castle Runs or comment on my castle. Um, I can't really check through all of my videos anymore. So I mean, it's getting to be a point where if someone's rewatching videos from the older times, randomly someone from like Viewer Castles 12 will comment and like ask me to do their castle, and then a week later we'll get all angry because I haven't seen their comment. I'm I'm getting up to that point where I have 60 some or almost 70 uh, episodes of Viewer Castles, so it's getting to the point where like I wish I would ju have just requested people to email me or comment on my castle. Like commenting on my castle is pretty easy, right? You just type in my name go to practice, leave it, it'll allow you to comment and say, hey, do my castle, or something like that. Um, so, there's not much I can do now. So, I mean, <laughs> if you are currently watching from the day that this was published, um, you can you can leave a comment. Like, a day, a day, day or two, even a week after, I'll probably still be able to see the comment. But after that week amount of time, um, please do one of the other two. Alright, so yeah, with that one, the video, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.